Symmetrical parabolic curves are not geometrically symmetrical, but it is called so as it uses a single curve. The elements of such curve are taken both horizontally or stations and vertically as elevations. Check the examples here in engineering surveys. Example 1. A summit parabolic curve has its point of vertical intersection at station 14 plus 750 with elevation of 76.3 meters. The grade of the back tangent is 3.4% and forward tangent of negative 4.8%. If the length of the curve is 300 meters, A, compute the location of the vertical curve turning point from the point of intersection. B. Determine the elevation of the vertical curve turning point, and C. Determine the stationing of the vertical curve turning point. Given are the grades, G1 is positive 3.4% and G2 is negative 4.8%. The length of the curve is also given as 300 meters, and the point of vertical intersection is at station 14 plus 750 with elevation of 76.3 meters. The vertical curve turning point mentioned in the requirement means the summit of the curve. Requirements A requires the location of the summit, B asks for its elevation, and C its stationing. Requirement A is the location of the summit, which is illustrated using the grade diagram. By connecting positive 3.4% to negative 4.8%, the point of inflection is taken at a distance less than half of L. This point would give the location of the summit of the curve. By using ratio and proportionality, take distance S1 as G1 times L all upon G1 minus G2, and plugging in the grades and L, it will be computed as 124.39 meters. To answer the requirement, take the distance A from the point of vertical curve, and that is its location as half of L less S1, so A is computed as 25.61 meters. Requirement B is the elevation of the summit. Elevation of any point on the curve can be computed through ratio and proportion from the external distance H, and this is computed as L all over 8 times the quantity of G1 minus G2. So placing all the given values of L and the grades, H is solved as 3.075 meters. Now using the proportionality, Y can be computed as 2.11 meters. Note that Y is the difference of elevation from the tangent to the summit of the curve. To take the elevation of the tangent location, say we denote it as point Z, subtract the distance taken from the product of the grade with A, and that would be 76.3 less 0 0.034 multiplied by 25.61, which is 75.43. So we can take the elevation of the highest point of the curve by subtracting Y from this elevation, and that is 75.32 meters. Requirement C is the stationing of the highest point of the curve. Knowing the horizontal distance A from the point of vertical intersection with also a known station, subtract A to have the station of the summit, taken as 14 plus 724.39. Example 2. A parabolic curve has a descending grade of 0.8%, which meets an ascending grade of 0.4%, at station 10 plus 20. The maximum allowable change of grade per 20 meter station is 0 0.15. Elevation at station 10 plus 20 is 240.6 meters. A. Determine the length of the curve. B. Compute the elevation of the lowest point of the curve. And C. Determine the elevation at station 10 plus triple zero. Given is a descending grade of 0.8% taken as negative, 
followed by an ascending rate of 0.4%. The point of vertical intersection is stationed at 10 plus 20 with an elevation of 240.16 meters. The rate of change of the grade is also given at 0.15 per 20 meters. We are required to locate the lowest point and the elevation of the curve at station 10 plus 000. The length of the curve is computed using the rate of change. Solve n or the number of change with the formula to have n equals 8. The length is computed as product of 20 meters with the number of intervals, which is 8, giving the length of 160 meters. The elevation of the lowest point will also be determined using the grade diagram where the horizontal distance S1 is taken from the ratio and proportion of triangles, deriving the formula, and S1 is solved as 106.67 meters, and it is noted that the lowest point is located after the midpoint. Take the remaining distance X, which is measured as 53.33 meters. Then from the formula, the external distance H is computed as L all over 8 times the absolute value of G1 minus G2. Plug the values to get 0 0.24. H is computed to be able to complete the ratio and proportion of the verticals to the square of the horizontals, so Y is computed as 0 0.11. Again, Y is the distance from the tangent to the curve, so determine the elevation of the tangent by adding the grade with the distance and it gives us 240.71 meters. From here, take the elevation of the lowest point by adding y to the tangent elevation, which will give 240.82 meters. The third requirement asks for the elevation at station 10 plus 000. Note that this is stations before the point of vertical intersection. Let's start by solving the elevation of the tangent at that station, and we get the given 240.6 plus the grade with a distance of 20 meters, which is taken from 10 plus 20 minus 10 plus 000. Elevation C is computed as 240.76 meters. Now use ratio and proportion with the verticals and the square of horizontals, and Y is computed as 0 0.135 meters. So now we can take the elevation of the curve at station 10 plus 000 by adding y with the elevation at point C and we get 240.895 meters. Mm -hmm.